welcome to Surrey TV. I'm Victoria Durant and this week I'm very excited to be here at the one and only Mercedes-Benz World at Brooklands near Weybridge. act was one of the descriptions given to what Guildford's Diana Roberts and 12 others did last Saturday. Despite the weather possibilities, Diana and her group of charity fundraisers slept outside at the Watts Gallery near Compton. Chantel went to catch up with her on Tuesday. So, you know, we're so proud of you and what oh, we really you. want to know is what are the three things you think you've really taken away from this experience? Number one, I hate camping and I'm never doing it again. True. That's yeah. the first one. <laughs> but no, there, there were two things really. Um, I, in the middle of the night, you know, because you sort of doze and you wake mm. up, you doze and you wake up. And there was one bit really where I thought, you know, my car was only just around the corner. Yeah. If I really hate this, I'm here voluntarily in order to raise funds for the Sleep Easy Sleep Out project and to raise awareness. Yeah. And I could go and get my car and go home anytime I like. This is yeah. purely voluntary. Yeah. And certainly tomorrow morning when it's all over, I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to go home. Yeah. And some people don't have that choice. No. And also like the following night, Sunday night, when I got into my nice cosy bed, I was thinking there are people that were sleeping out like I was last night and they're sleeping out again tonight as well. Yeah. And I, you can't sleep. I couldn't do it two nights running. I really couldn't. And it doesn't surprise me, therefore, that they tend to resort to substances to sleep because sure. you can't do it sober. It's, sure. it's just too uncomfortable for that. So, and yeah, I think it's the fact that I was doing it voluntary and some people just don't have the choice. And that was one night, whereas that thought is now stuck that's with right. you forever. It is. And that's really mm. important. Mm. So we know donations have gone up, so we want yes. to continue to help you. So oh, yes, remind please. us of how to do that. Um, you go to the My, My Donate site and yeah. then search under fundraiser Diana Roberts and yeah. it's open until the 31st of March. And I'm halfway there. I need the other half. OK, perfect. Well, good luck, Diana. Thank we you. love you at Surrey TV. Thank good you. Luck. With much to talk about small medium enterprises, SMEs making a significant contribution to the growing economy, we thought it would be good to look at what's happening in Surrey with SMEs. Our first feature company is Crux Real Estate Marketing from Hindhead. Crux was launched in August 2013 by Leonora Eels and Jack Coupland. Chantel went to meet with them earlier in the week. Yes, just like Surrey TV, the future of marketing and communication lies in the art of video. I am joined here with Jack and Leonora from Crux Real Estate Marketing and we're here today to talk about their company which is really innovative. So can you tell me a little bit more about your company? So we are a real estate marketing company specialising in short film and photography. We, our flagship product is video, so they're about two minutes long, they're HD quality and they're filled with just dynamic shots. They really draw in the viewer and they help sell property. Yeah, and I believe you just started late in 2013. So how does 2014 look for you? So we started in September 2013 and we spent about three or four months on product development and getting a, an amazing product Get basically. Together, sure. And 2014, we've really looked at getting it out there and we've signed mm -hmm. contracts with some of the established real estate names in the business sure. mm -hmm. and we're seeing great progression and actually looking to video as a means to sell and market property. Yeah, because it's really one of a kind. It's a really good innovative idea. I mean, how long does it take to actually record one of these videos? On average, it takes about 90 minutes and that's for the eco package we have. But we have uh, four packages. Okay. They're all different depending on the size of the house and what people want really. So it does change, but 90 yeah. minutes on average. Excellent. So if we're a real estate agent and we want to get in contact with you and use you to help us, what do we do? How do we contact you? So the easiest way to contact us is at our Twitter feed and that's mm -hmm. Crux Real Estate or turn to the on our website website which is cruxmarketing.co.uk brilliant well it looks like 2014 is going to be a brilliant year for you guys so i really wish you the best of luck thank, thank you. you very much thank thanks you. thank you very much Chertsey Film 
Film Society is currently running a late season membership offer. See all five films remaining in the current season for £29 for individuals or £54 for a couple. This great local film club, founded in 1982, shows 12 Friday night movies at Chertsey Hall in the centre of town from September to May. It specialises in the sort of offbeat films which have only limited runs in the mainstream cinemas. The next film on February the 14th offers a Valentine's night out with a twist. Sightseers is a dark British horror comedy taking you on a caravan tour around the national parks of Northern England with Chris and his new love Tina. Chris's extreme reaction to other tourists has dramatic consequences that are not quite what Tina was expecting for her romantic trip. New members who share a love for film are always welcome. Film begins at 7.45 p.m. Tea and coffee are served and you can even bring your own wine. Find out more about enjoying good films in good company at chertseyfilm.org.uk. Find Chertsey Film on Facebook at info at chertseyfilm.org.uk. The Renoir exhibition is starting next week. Chantel went to meet up with Prue Chambers from the Lightbox Gallery in Woking earlier this week. So Prue, I can really feel the buzz when I'm standing here in the Lightbox Gallery and everyone must be so excited for the Renoir in Britain exhibition coming next week. Can you tell me how exciting it is and what's yes, happening? Yes, absolutely. As you say, everyone is very excited here. Uh, so we've got our Renoir in Britain uh, exhibition opening this Saturday. Yeah. Um, it's going to be showcasing a collection of uh, the great Impressionist artist Renoir's work, all taken from collections in Britain. Great, fantastic, because we hear that it's actually the biggest collection outside of a major city. That must have been incredible for you to have to bring everything together. Tell me about the work that's gone into it. Yes, um, so our exhibitions team have actually spent over five years uh, bringing this exhibition together. Uh, they've sourced works from a number of great galleries, including the National Gallery, Tate, British Museum, Ashmolean Museum. Um, so it's taken a very long time to bring everything together. Yes. Um, and as you say, we're now yeah, very excited about the exhibition actually taking place. Wow, that's really impressive. And the exhibition is going to be free. Could you just remind me of the date uh, that it's going to be on? Yep, so we're opening this Saturday, the 8th of February. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to run until the 20th of April. Yep. Uh, the exhibition is absolutely free, yep. uh, which we're really pleased to offer people. You know, someone that's a high profile artist, no charge to enter the exhibition. Um, and we're open from Tuesday till Sunday every day. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to come myself. And thank you so much for talking to us today, because I know you're a very busy lady with lots going on. Yes. But we really look forward to the exhibition. Great. Thanks very Thanks. much. Dakota Productions, the company behind Surrey TV, have announced the launch of a new IPTV channel, Business Incubator TV, and I'm here today with the host of the new channel, Kirsty Nicholl. So Kirsty, for those of us who don't really understand much about what it, Business Incubation is, can you explain it a bit for us? It's a really simple concept, so Business Incubation is a mentoring type scheme for new businesses, young businesses or startups, so people that need a little bit of help or guidance can sort of take the torch from someone who's got more experience and make their business a real success. Great, and so Business Incubator TV, what is, how is that, does that relate to it? So I'm going to be showcasing Business Incubation, the industry as a whole, showing great stories and successes from the industry and also how businesses can get involved and apply for Business Incubation. It's a really exciting project and it's going to be starting next month. Fantastic, and we're going to be covering each other occasionally, yeah. aren't we? I'll be on Business Incubator TV and you'll be on Surrey TV every now and again. Yes, yeah, so for the viewers that love watching you each week on Surrey TV, they can watch you as well on Business Incubator TV. So it's a really exciting time and looking forward to starting next month. Thanks, Kirsty. Best of luck with the new channel. Thanks, Vicky. like 
X-Factor voice and the X-Factor churning out wannabe pop stars, it's rare to find a genuine musician who's made it into the industry off her own back, like Surrey-based singer-songwriter Lisa Quay. Hi. <laughs> so, Lisa, um, you've got loads of exciting stuff happening at the moment. You've got a regular slot at the Troubadour mm -hmm. in London, a very well-established place. Yes. Um, and you've got your debut single and debut album. What's the album called? The album is called The Girl You Left Behind. Um, and uh, I was explaining to somebody the other day that when the album was reviewed, it was actually sort of um, categorised as, a, as a, a pile of love letters that have been left behind somewhere that um, have been written into songs. So ah. it's, it's quite a sneak preview into my private life, in a way. So what was the inspiration behind it? Um, I, I, I wrote the album basically because I was going through quite a difficult period um, and I found it cathartic to songwrite during that time. So I'd hide myself away with the piano and the acoustic guitar um, and just get my thoughts out through music rather than voicing it to friends and family. Um, and luckily I came out with some, some nice songs. So it's great that now everything seems to be really taking off for you. Yes. Um, and how do we download your music? The best way to um, find out what I'm doing and to download music is to go to my own personal website, which is www.lisaquay.co.uk. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today, Lisa. Thank you for having me. in Guildford last weekend was the launch of Kickback Comedy Club at the Star Inn in Quarry Street. The night was a great success and the audience were entertained by Johnny Katz, Fern Brady and Nick Revel, all of whom are regulars on the West End circuit. Hosting duties were carried out by Deborah Jane Appleby, who kept the laughter flowing and the energy of the evening high. Abby Bagley, who organised the event, told Surrey TV, the opening night of Kickback Comedy was a dream come true. I felt like all the hard work was really worth it. I honestly don't think it could have gone any better. We're already selling tickets daily for the next show. I'm sure we will sell out again in no time. I'm now joined by the owner of this beautiful Mercedes, Richard Frost. So thank you so much, Richard, for letting us film in your car. Um, how old is she? Uh, 1969. Yeah. And uh, they just ran three sets, 230, 250, and the 280 SL. And then this one, and then they were phased out in 1971. Oh, wow. And how long have you owned her? Coming up for nine years. Oh, yeah. A lovely. real pleasure to have one like yeah, this. Yeah, she's beautiful. consider yourself a bit of a petrol head I've got with me here the ultimate petrol head arms body legs and everything mr. Rob Durrant um, so Rob uh, if I was coming here wanting the ultimate thrilling experience what would you recommend for me well the main thing here uh, is obviously we have the tracks we have the opportunity to drive and experience uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, and of course AMG so AMG is going to be that experience so incredibly powerful car uh, that's what I'd recommend you drive. Great. It's most definitely been a thrilling experience here today at Mercedes-Benz World and what an insight into some of the finest motor engineering on the planet. Thanks for watching Surrey TV. Take care and enjoy the county. joined by the owner of this beautiful Mercedes, Richard Frost.